Hi all, it is Nico Wolf again and we continue our work in uh, building the atlas. First uh, we prepared, in the previous part of uh, this series, we pre prepared our atlas by uh, giving it a coverage layer and uh, a filter plus giving it an output, an output format. So. Uh, now we must associate the map with the uh, previous created atlas. Now we select the map. If I just select it, we select it this way, left clicking in the map while uh, being in this tool. Select features, select rectangular features, but uh, you with single left click you select the map. Go to composition, uh, no, excuse me, to item properties. And uh, you uh, first have to specify the scale which you want, 10,000. Now, um, I want the scale to be 10,000. So, one way to do it is to insert a text label and uh, write in it. 10,000. It is not uh, the best way, however, uh, because whenever the atlas changes the scale, uh, for instance, the village is too big or the town is too big for this uh, boundary, uh, it will need another scale to fit the village in the view. So, uh, 1 to 10,000, uh, I will need to change it manually or it simply will not be correct. So, uh, the better way to, to insert the scale is to place a scale bar, you can see here. Uh, in the first moment it is uh, just uh, um, a scale bar, a standard scale bar, a scale bar with boxes, but uh, we don't need such a scale bar, we need numeric scale bar. You can go to Item Properties, Style, Numeric. It uh, makes it uh, a number and it is associated with the map actually. So uh, whenever I change the scale of uh, the map, map 1 to 20,000, you can see the scale changed and the scale also changed if I click on it. So uh, it is the best way to do it and uh, I will now return to 10,000. The another problem is uh, the name of the map but uh, we will uh, do it later. Now we must associate the map with the atlas. Uh, you go to item properties while the map is still selected and uh, Just searching for it. You go to the menu, control by atlas. You mark it. Now you have uh, several options. Marginal feature uh, means that uh, the feature, which is uh, the village or the town, uh, it will make another 10% margin on every side and fit it to the selected boundary. Uh, fixed scale uh, means uh, you select the scale of the map. Uh, in this instance 10,000 and it makes all villages in 10,000 and predefined scale, best fit, uh, this um, just uh, places the feature without any margins uh, just to fit the bumper. So I will demonstrate each of them. Marginal feature, we must uh, now click here, preview at last. it will now start moving us around the villages and uh, next feature next feature, next feature, you can see the scale changes actually, 1 to 5485, which is not uh, what we want, we want the correct scale, uh, in the least uh, it, uh, it has to end in two zeros at least, so it changes the scale for each feature, when margin around feature is selected, pretty fine scale, uh, is uh, showing us uh, a number of scales. For instance, uh, 
predefined scales are located here. So if it doesn't fit in uh, one to, um, to uh, it starts uh, from the small. Uh, it if it doesn't fit in one to one thousand, it will try to fit it in one to uh, two thousand five hundred. If it doesn't fit, it will try to fit it in one to five thousand, and so on. So you can create, uh, of course, your of, uh, new predefined scales. You must go to settings. Um, options, map tools, predefined scales, and uh, with the plus sign you, you will insert another predefined scale. For uh, instance, if I want uh, one to four uh, four thousand, I will just write four thousand, and I. I However, cannot move it up, but yes, that way. And now I can uh, just select one to four thousand, and the map will be in that scale. So the option of the Atlas uh, predefined scale uses these scales for its uh, generation. See, one to five thousand, one to two thousand and five hundred and so on. If it's convenient, uh, you can see here, it uses my scale, which I just predefined, 1 to 4000. Uh, it is uh, actually the best way to do it. And fixed scale, the last option, is uh, you specify the scale, 10,000, and uh, it just uh, uses the scale for all of your Atlas features, no matter if it cuts the feature, if it if if it if the feature is too small for the boundary, uh, we must change the size of uh, each scale unit. Now it is uh, 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 250 meters. We will change it to 100 meters. The scale bar is much smaller now, and uh, whenever it ch changes the scale, it will. Just go and change uh, the scale bar. Now uh, the name for each uh, uh, for each showing. It is another trick I have for you. Uh, you can of course uh, go to the video with the name of uh, Gorski Senovets and uh, write the name. You can go now to the next feature and write its name. Uh, for each feature you have to t change the name and uh, it is not quite useful. I suggest you just uh, make zoning for, uh, which is the same in all titles and in certain expression, fields and values. It uses the fields and values of the Atlas coverage layer and, uh, uh, and MEST, which I used uh, before. It is the column that contains the names of my villages. So I insert that one, and uh, now it uh, just created uh, a small percentage sign. So uh, as you can see now, zoning for the name of the village, which is in Bulgarian. And uh, when I change the feature, it changes the name. And it's uh, very, very, very useful. It changes automatically the scale, it changes the name, so my map is practically ready for exporting. As you can see, the map is not very comprehensive because uh, the same, it applies the same uh, uh, values for each uh, village area. I will update this layer style. I use layer styles quite often. Hide all layers. My shortcut is shift plus point. We want all other, other areas to be shaded. So it can be achieved this way. You go to style of the areas, rule based, and add rule here. You can see. Label It is the rule which we will place here. Uh, so 
in filter we uh, actually my mistake in filter we place the rule so the rule shall be name of the village name of the zone in my case it's Ime it has to be the same with the name of the village actually because uh, there uh, the village uh, is giving the name to the zone around it uh, naturally so Ime is not alike we go to uh, operators not like the sign is uh, less and uh, more signs one next to another it's not alike to the and we used it before to the attribute of the atlas feature which is called nmest we mentioned it before this way so whenever it is not the same as uh, the atlas uh, feature it will symbolize it uh, with blue you will see now see only the uh, area which we are in now is uh, white and everything else is in blue we don't need this however we need it not to be blue but to be with some shading it is achieved this way white color with uh, 50 transparency and no boundaries we don't need boundaries for the atlas feature, we don't need the boundaries too. We create simple fill, no pen, and a hundred percent transparency. This way. So it doesn't shade anything. Now you will see. Now I go to my layer style, uh, layer state, which I used before, and this is the result we want. We go to our final atlas uh, layout, A3 village. We regenerate the map, and now it is the result we wanted. So, if we just go to the next feature, you can see for every feature it just changes the way it, repre it is represented. So, uh, uh, we will export every atlas S image export atlas as images here we will select the folder now i will make another one because it just will uh, export multiple features so i will create a new folder atlas features and choose and now we wait they are being, being exported it is finished so now we will look at the final result here are our atlas feature maps you can see the village and uh, the adjacent border is uh, shaded it also changes the name as you can see I selected fixed scale so it uh, won't change the scale it will be uh, 1 to 10,000 for all of my maps so thanks for watching this was uh, the tutorial of how to use the atlas feature one of the most uh, used uh, features in Qubis